Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. We've got a new review of the latest volume of Seeker Coders. This is Volume 6, Monsters and Modules from 1st, 2nd, and written by Gene Loon Yang with art by Mike Holmes. Now, for those who have not seen my previous reviews of Seeker Coders, this is a fantastic graphic novel series. It's pretty awesome. This is out in bookstores and comic stores now. And for those who don't really know, so Gene Loon Yang is a brilliant, brilliant comic creator. His big thing is that he is a, uh, a teacher on top of being a comic creator, and he's a whole bunch of other things on top of it. But uh, he's using comics to be able to use for education. He's very big in like the whole educational use of comics. And with Secret Coders, what he's been doing is using comics to teach kids how to code. Not just kids, adults too. Because I'll be honest, this a lot of this was new to me and stuff. I remember learning in like way back in maybe middle school and have forgotten since then. I just haven't used it. So it's been fun to kind of go through each volume and learn and learn and learn and learn. So this caps off the story. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be further volumes. I really hope so, because uh, it's a great series. And this has the kids fighting Dr. One Zero to basically save their town. And he wants to, like, gas everyone kind of Joker style. Really kind of weird. Um, the story has them having to travel the Flatland, a two-dimensional universe to go retrieve this magical turtle. Again, weird, don't ask, just read the, the story. And then come back and, and fight Dr. One Zero. Um, so there's so much good about this graphic novel series. One, you know, it teaches great like interactions between kids and how to work together and deal with adults and stuff like that. But the biggest is it teaches kids how to code. So it really teaches reader how to code. And... Um, what it does is kind of like each chapter is a step, like it'll go and take you through one bit of it and end the chapter and say, hey, can you do the code? And then come back with in the beginning of the next chapter and run you through the code. It's really cute. It's kind of the way that all the books have been set up, formulaic in that way, but it allows kids to actually stop and go and learn and kind of uh, practice what they have learned and then see if what they got right. I mean, it's like homework built into a graphic novel and works really, really well. The story is really entertaining. It's a lot of fun, uh, but really, I think, be able to mix that entertaining story along with uh, an educational aspect of it, I think, makes this graphic novel series stand out from the rest. It is fantastic. It is wonderful. I would be shocked if this isn't adopted in schools to teach kids how to code. Um, it, it's just, it's it's beyond fantastic. Like, I do not have enough good words to say about it. Um, also, with Mike Holmes' art, which is really interesting in that it's it's really, I don't say limited, because it's not. Like, there's, there's great detail on it, and the characters are really cool, and it's this, like, green, black, white palette. Um, but this issue really stands out in that it also takes the kids to a 2D world, so not only do they have to work and create these 3D uh, designs, there's also 2D designs, which gets really, really entertaining and a lot of fun. Um, I don't, don't want to go into details, I don't want to spoil things. Uh, so there's this like flip of the art, and there's a whole bunch of mix of like 3D, 2D, it's, it's cool, it's really great. Uh, you know, the only knock I actually have to say about this volume, is the fact, and really all the previous volumes, is that you really need to read the, the previous volume to learn and and get going with the story and I think that's kind of maybe the only negative is that you know the the first volume teaches basics the next volume will work it up a little bit more next volume a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more so to jump into volume six like you can definitely just enjoy the story that's not an issue at all uh, but really to get kind of the whole picture the educational aspect and the and the entertainment of the story you, you need to start from the beginning we're not talking much. These things retail for about ten ninety nine. I think most of them are like ten ninety nine. I think it might nine ninety nine. You can obviously get it for cheaper online. Uh, so it's, we're not breaking the bank on any of this. This is a fantastic graphic novel series. I think like every holiday season, I recommend this volume or this you know series, whatever the latest volume came out. Uh, I do not. Uh, I do not hesitate at all to recommend this for parents to give to their kids or just parents to read, enjoy themselves, and learn how to code. Um, it is wonderful, it's entertaining, it's educational, it is a fantastic example of using comics to, uh, to teach kids. This is out in comic stores today, it's in bookstores now. Go get it. You know, go support your comic shop first and foremost. I've got a link beneath this video. You can put in your zip code, I'll tell you if your shop's there. You have no shop, no problem. Uh, we do have affiliate links 
uh, they are affiliate links, so you get a little bit extra there. Um, but go support a comic shop. Uh, if you're into graphic novels or you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep you nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.